Hello, how's it going? I just wanted to share an example of how intuition can work in our dream state and also in our waking life and how that can interweave through that sort of magic of the universe and cosmic um, mystery and phenomenon also of signs and synchronicities and how that all melds together to um, sort of paint a tapestry of awe and meaning in our lives and the more that we are in tune with those uh, magical moments or those um, synchronizing rhythms of intuitive patterning then um, the more that we experience them so uh, about a week or so ago I had a dream of a Chinese doctor and in the dream he was giving some advice um, for which herb a drug user needed uh, and it was the drug user was uh, some stranger you know being a dream um, but when the Chinese doctor told me he looked into my eyes and he had big brown eyes and he was saying uh, he was recommending dandelion as in the herb and uh, which I'd actually never heard of before as a herb to be consumed um, like you know through teas um, and even though it was recommended for the drug user it was kind of like he was saying it for me and that's what I got out of the dream very very deep knowing that that message was for me so uh, the next morning I uh, quickly googled you know dandelion tea because that's how it came, came across in the dream and it did say that um, it was great for um, detoxing from drugs which was not my case but um that certainly was the advice in the dream um and for other stuff that i could relate to like other detoxing and you know because i get migraines and that kind of thing and so i totally knew that this would be helpful for me so then i contacted a naturopath friend that i have and she kindly gave me some um organic dandelion dried leaves that she um had and i've been drinking it ever since then and then um, the way signs work, so in sync with this, is that not long after, and I did ask for signs also, I was driving along and then all of a sudden, just all these dandelions just blew onto the highway, sort of very dreamlike, like, like it, honestly, it felt like thousands of them, <laughs> that many. And it was like this moment of suspended time with all these dandelions everywhere. And I sort of smiled to myself and had that intuitive knowing that yes, it indeed was a sign to reinforce the truth that that was a recommendation for me through the dreams, through guides, through angels, through God, however you want to see it, all of the above. So then, um, since then, um, I also saw two more dandelion um, signs as well. So um, I was driving along and um, after working at a school where I teach English and during that school day, because often I do receive signs when I'm teaching as well, such as through the teaching materials, there might be a word that pops out or something like that. And it happened that lion came up that day. And it, sort of after you've been doing this for a while and especially when you do intuitive work you pick up when something's a sign even if it's just one random word that otherwise doesn't make sense right like jelly bean so um so I knew that was already a sign and then this boy also had a t-shirt with a lion on it so I'm, I was driving along and um all of a sudden a dandelion just flies across gently sort of like a falling feather falls across um the road in front of me and the Roan's name was Lionheart. So, and with that, uh, like even now, just when I think about it, my heart just expands. And um, I just really feel that intuitive feeling of, um, you know, of like shivers all through me, that that is a gift from God. And in that moment, it's like you're in sync with the universe and the angels and um, and everything beautiful that makes you feel like doing the happy cry right in that moment and you just know and also the reason why I knew that was a sign outside of just knowing and you know it's kind of obvious um, is that two times before that I had seen a falling feather so it all and this was before my dream so not long before so it all connected so the falling feather which I noticed a couple of times separately and then um, then it finally made sense 
when I saw the falling dandelion because it was like a feather falling. So after that, there was another time I saw a dandelion. Anyway, by now it's definitely um, three signs. Uh, and I was scrolling across YouTube and someone had put a dandelion picture <laughs> as their thumbnail. And I was like, okay, thank you universe. And you know, at some point during this process, I had questioned, not with my intuitive mind, with my everyday typical human mind, like, oh, is this dandelion tea really going to do anything for me? You know, is it really going to help me? And all that kind of thing. But they're just passing thoughts, right? Like, you know, the ego always pops up with this stuff. But deep down, I knew, yes, no, keep going with this. So, you know, just keep believing in the magic. Keep noticing the signs, synchronicities, trusting your intuition, uh, really following and looking deeply into your dreams. And sometimes we don't understand it in our conscious mind, uh, but on the subconscious level, something is happening, um, processing, and we are receiving the signals, the guidance, the messages on some level, just like the way we see numbers such as 1111. So that's just what I wanted to say for today. I mean, I've got so many synchronicity and sign stories, I wouldn't even know where to begin. <laughs> so, um, you know, if something pops through my mind or I have a special uh, little moment or something like that, I will make another video. Um, but for now, yeah, just share your signs, synchronicities, your dreams, your, you know, intuitive moments because it really is reassuring in this time on earth we need the reassurance that we are watched over and that you know we are being listened to okay that our prayers are being heard and that we're not alone because so many people you know um feel alone or feel like isolated or that the signs or messages are far few and far between um so as i said previously the more that you are aware the more that you enter that higher consciousness state, the more that you expand and that you notice things and that they do indeed happen. And there might have been signs, um, times where you were receiving signs, but you didn't notice because you were too busy or your mind was, um, you know, blocking the process. So anyway, just thought I'd share. So um, talk soon.